Hello guys, welcome back to Paper Whisper. Today will be a short and sweet video. It will be showing you how to make a grid. A very, very basic grid. So, I'll be using a tiny sheet of paper from Blink.com, I believe. I could be wrong. Um, Dickblink.com. Um, I got it, and um, it's amazing quality paper. It just isn't perfect for origami, so I thought I'd use it for this video to make something simple. You know, I, I have way too much of it anyways. So, I'm going to start. Change the angle of the camera a bit. Hopefully that works. Okay, so you're gonna fold in half. This is, I'm gonna show you to make a 16 by 16 grid, and you basically repeat the steps. So basically you will need some basic math for this. Basically, there's many different ways to make grids, this is what method I prefer is. You have two ends, you fold in half, there's two sides. What I want you to do is fold the edge to the middle, actually. And then, you're going to fold this edge to where the middle, this edge to where the middle, middle where it originally was. And do that twice more, sorry, once more. I was say twice and then I realized. So basically, think about this way. If you don't know what powers are, or exponents I should say, then you, then it's basically, think about this way. If you, if you know what exponents are, do 2 to the power, uh, 2 to the power, uh, sorry, figure out what 2 to the power of which is for your 2, this is for basically, um, power of 2 grids, but basically, um, basically if you, it's like 2, 4, 8, 16, stuff like that, um, basically you're going to take that power of 2 that makes 16 and subtract 1, so basically, uh, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, or 2 squared squared, 2 to the 4th power, so I, um, fold it in half, unfolded, and I fold it in half three times. One plus three is four, and that makes sixteenths. You're going to rotate and repeat all the way around. Excuse me. Once you've done it all the way around, I'll finish off real quick. Once you finish, you're going down the grid. See, that was not that bad. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is short and sweet. I told you so. It's like three minutes or so long. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.